Hey Jody here with WeldingTipsAndTricks.com. This is going to be a really quick video, but hopefully a good one. TIG welding quarter inch thick aluminum today. Vertical uphill lap joint. Quarter inch, six millimeter. Let's get to it. All right, the metal has already been acetoned off. Now we're going to wipe the rods down a little bit with just a little bit of acetone on a wipe. Drawing compounds and lubricants and stuff like that get on rods and they, they weld a little bit better if you give them a wipe down. All right, before we get started here, a very quick thank you to Metal Supermarkets for supplying the metal for this job, for this video. This is going to get really hot. I don't know any better way to prop than just using one of my TIG Finger XL products and sliding it up the back side. What I'm looking for here is I'm watching the very leading edge of the puddle down in the root of the joint, trying to make sure that the puddle kind of teardrops into that root of that joint before I add rod. And I'm trying to move ahead somewhere between probably 332nd and 8th of an inch at a time. These are my settings. Basically, uh, along with the AC balance, I had set to about 75% EN or 25% cleaning. Frequency on the AC set to around 85. You have to stop and start. A lot of times you'll lose some heat and it takes just a second to build that heat back up. So I, I kind of light up like this and kind of gradually press the foot pedal down until the puddle kind of rega regains its exact size and then I wash forward a couple times and then I'm off to the races again. That was kind of a slow way to restart trying to you know take it easy get the amperage right. If you were really production minded you might just go full pedal almost and just, just head out. Trying to watch the left side there and not, not wash the puddle too far beyond that edge. My fingers are not even warm after a 12 inch run took two whole minutes. The way I support my videos is through my online store, so I'd appreciate you visiting weldmonger.com. Thank you, we'll see you next time.